during the collaboration featured on this page, the students recorded themselves um, doing their Reader's Theater's play as a cold read without having read it before. And then also, after practicing for several weeks, uh, they recorded a final read. And then on the teacher web page, we created a podcast page for each group so that they could actually listen to their final read at home um, with their families. So I'll show you how to do that. You'll want to go into your teacher web page editing site. Click on my staff pages. And then if you click on my applications, you may have some different things active. And if you click on show inactive sections, you'll probably have this section for podcasts here. And you want to turn that on. And then you can um, create an intro message. You can um, say, you know, th these are recordings from class or whatever you want to say. And then go to podcast setup here at the top. Give it a title. And then you can, it says no feeds exist yet, and you can add now. Um, you could also click here on add content. So I'll add now. And I'm just going to put up the recording that we created in the last video. I'll call it recording. And I want it to be visible on the website, and I want it to be visible today. So I'll put the date. Uh, and this is an audio recording. So I will look for where I saved it on my desktop. And I don't want to pick the audio or the Audacity project file. I want to pick the uh, WAV file that I saved because that will work. And let's see, here it is. And click Save. And now it looks like it has been successfully saved and I'm just going to view my site to see what it looks like on there. If I go over here to this podcast option then and there it is.